Hey guys, Gorth Balin here. I get this a question a lot, uh, not necessarily even through YouTube. Um, obviously my following isn't huge right now, but through real life, through other business owners, through friends. Hey, you know, Les, how do you advertise your business? How do you get clients? And well, first of all, I have a physical location and that helps hugely. And for that, I'd recommend, and I think it still works even if you don't necessarily have a physical location, but Google Business Listing. That also allows people to review your business through Google reviews. But you have that and you're gonna automatically get um, visitors when they search your name and they're in the area, um, uh, in your specific area. You know, you'll pop up on that map and then they can sort of see you there, they can see your reviews. So be careful because if you have terrible reviews, you don't necessarily wanna be there on the map if they're using the map feature. Um, but the Google business listing is great, it's free. You can put your hours in there and then when you search uh, the name you know, in Google, your information is on the right hand side. Other ways is Facebook ads um, and I do all sorts of things there. I promote a, a post that seems to be popular. Um, and I have, uh, you know, let's get more likes on this page. Let's get more visitors to our website. Um, I also do AdWords, which is similar, except in this case, people are searching um, a relevant keyword in a relevant uh, in a certain area, you know, and your information is going to pop up there um, in the advertising features. I spend about seven, eight dollars a day. On, on that and about $15 a week on Facebook ads. So it's not a huge amount, but I do want that traffic to start trickling into the website. Now, it's a great idea to have a good website. If your website is strong, you'll get a good conversion. We have a form on the website, a client can go onto the website, they see the form, okay, let's book, I see the prices right there. I know some websites, uh, don't have their prices and that's fine and we do. Um, I like to be sort of straight up with things like that. So they see the prices, they fill out the form and boom. Once they fill out the form, the likelihood of them becoming a client is huge. I mean, maybe 20% of people cancel that sort of form fill out, but the rest, the rest go, they say, yep, let's do this. And once I get that form information, I send them like an invoice through Wave Accounting, by the way, um, which allows the client to pay right from that email they get. So it's hugely effective. I highly recommend you guys check out Wave, by the way. Anyways, let's go back to the uh, advertising. Another thing, I keep social media, Instagram, um, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all those things up to date. Because when people go onto those things and they see an up-to-date post, there's, people say, hey, you know, this guy's posting regularly. He cares about his business. Another thing is, you know, you can get some clues. If a person has 2,000 likes on his Facebook page and he, each post has one or two likes, A, those likes are fake, or B, their business kind of sucks. So, you know, you get a lot of clues to the business. You see what's going on. If you see real people, you know, real events, that means, hey, you know, this business is happening. I can get a clue. I can get an idea. I can get a feel for that business. So I think keeping your social media, and it's pretty much free, up to date, it is huge. It's free advertising, or at least it can be. I mean, you, you can obviously pay for it, like Facebook and Instagram, but um, it's, it's a mixture of free and paid, and, 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 and certainly, um, uh, you know, you might, if you don't want to spend any money, do the free stuff, but keeping that up to date is great. I go to businesses when I'm looking for a service, and if their last post was a year ago, you know, I realize this person doesn't really care about the business or potentially that business is actually shut down. So that's, uh, that's huge. Another thing is I realized Kijiji actually um, is popular in Canada, Canada, more popular than say Craigslist. No one really does Craigslist here in Canada. Although I noticed in the States, people are still huge fans of that. Um, and that must be, it might be a Western Canada thing. But anyways, Kijiji, I have, <laughs> I have several different accounts and I pose as much as possible. In my previous businesses, that wasn't, uh, oh, my arm is getting tired. Um, that wasn't that surprising. I mean, uh, holding up this phone, how tired uh, the arm gets, or maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm just weak. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it's surprising how many, uh, like it's free, 
And it's surprising how many posts I can put up if I vary the title, if I vary the description, if I vary the pictures, um, with uh, that, that sort of lead to the same uh, web page and that have the same contact info. And so I'm able to put up quite a few posts um, on Kijiji. So I, I actually try to flood Kijiji as much as possible with my information because it's free. And I, I mean, there is a paid for version of Kijiji. Like uh, obviously if you want your ads to be on the home page, etc., you're going to pay for that. But in my case, I only do free stuff because I find there's not that huge of a difference. And I realize, okay, well I put five free ads uh, versus two paid ones and sorry, it really is a similar um, result. So I have a, a lot of ads on uh, Kijiji as well. Now, also, you know, word of mouth, I hand out business cards, but beyond that, that's really it. A few social media things, and I, you know, I try to be consistent with this as well. So I do, um, um, like almost every day I'm trying to do something. Um, an AdWords campaign, um, or at least I go in there and tweak information. Um, I tweak the keywords, I see what's going on. Um, Facebook, every couple of days I go in there. Oh, and by the way, Facebook Marketplace is a new thing and it seems to be working a little bit as well. So I go in there and throw some po uh, posts up. So hopefully that uh, helped you guys a little bit. That's what I do for marketing. And uh, yeah, I, I will tweak it as the business, obviously as it grows in the summertime, things are more busy, so I care much less about advertising. Um, but in the wintertime and currently at my scale, that's what I do. Hopefully that helped. Guys, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys. Take care. Take it easy. Have a good weekend. See ya.